Welcome back to the lecture Digital Euro of Commercial Banks. In this final chapter, we're going to talk about some exciting use cases and case studies of uh, the digital euro. So let's directly dive into it. The first use case and case study that I would like to show you is Bankhaus von der Heide. Bankhaus von der Heide is a private bank based in Munich. And the main line of business is securitization. So what typically happens is that you have an institutional investor who approaches von der Heid and says, there's this portfolio of assets, for example, a portfolio of real estate properties or a portfolio of loans. And they say, I would like to invest in these assets, but I don't want to hold each and every asset individually. But all I want is one security that represents the ownership and the return profile of these assets. And then von der Heide will create a securitization vehicle. This vehicle buys and holds the um, underlying assets and issues a security, which represents then the ownership and especially the return profile of the underlying assets. Now, this process normally takes between six to eight weeks because you need to register the securitization vehicle. You need to open a new bank account for the securitization vehicle, and you need to register the new security with the central securities depository, typically with Clearstream. And their goal was to bring down this process from a certain number of weeks down to just a, a few days. And what they do is, on the one hand, they tokenize these assets, so they completely remove the CSD out of the value chain, and they use a digital euro for the payment settlement. And now there's a huge advantage. They don't need to open a new bank account for each securitization vehicle, but all that happens is that each new vehicle has a digital wallet that can be opened in a number of minutes, and that can hold both securities and digital euros. Now, when there is a transaction, what happens is that an investor would like to buy that security, that tokenized security. The investor has a wallet, and this wallet can store both a digital euro and the security, but it also provides them with an IBAN, so they can actually send a wire transfer to that wallet. However, when, they, when the investor sends a wire transfer to his wallet, it's not as a real bank account, but what happens in the background is that von der Heid received the euros, and then in a fully automated process, this money is stored in a segregated account, and an equivalent value of euro tokens is created. So let's assume the investor sends 1 million euros, then 1 million euro tokens are created and credited to the investor wallet. So the investor sees his balance and can interact with that. Now, let's assume the securitization is set up, the tokens that represent the security are created, and the investor buys them with the euro tokens that they already have. Then there is an instant delivery versus payment mechanism. The euro tokens get deducted from the account, and the security tokens are credited. So they don't need separate accounts with different custodians, but everything happens within the wallet of Bankhaus von der Heid. Now they hold the security, and maybe a year later, there is the first coupon payment. This coupon payment, again, happens in a digital euro and therefore happens instantaneously. And when the investor decides to withdraw the money from the wallet, they can trigger a withdrawal. Then again, in a fully automated way, the tokens are being destroyed by Bankhaus von der Heid. And the fiat euros that are sitting untouched in the segregated account are being sent from that account to the recipient account that was specified by the investor. On the other hand, if the investor decides not to withdraw his uh, um, digital euro, but to invest it into a new asset, then they can do that as well. And this money will never touch the fiat banking system anymore, but it's going back and forth between different assets and the investor wallet. And through this process, von der Heid has significantly reduced the time 
to issue new securitizations and also reduce the cost. Now, let's look at one other use case. Let's look at a company called ClickOn, which is a platform where investors can invest into tokenized real estate. One of the advantages is that you have much smaller denominations. You can start investing at 10 euros into real estate properties uh, at the moment, mostly in Germany. Now, ClickOn also utilize the custody wallet of Bankhaus von der Heid. The wallet is fully integrated into the ClickOn account as a white label solution. And as an investor on ClickOn, when I invest into a property, the tokens that represent the ownership in that property are automatically credited into my wallet and I don't need to do anything further. And now on the payment processing side, ClickOn also utilize the digital euro that Bankhaus von der Heid issue. So in the same way I have described it for the securitization use case, in my wallet on ClickOn, when I select the digital asset wallet, I can see all of the tokens that I have stored, but I can also see the digital euro that I have got in there. And I can reinvest it into a new project or I can withdraw it. And the advantages, again, we have instant delivery versus payment mechanisms. So everything happens instantaneously and everything happens at a much lower cost than it would normally with far less intermediaries involved in the process. And here we have a chart that describes the setup in a more concrete way. Um, on the one hand, we have uh, the issuer, which is typically the click on marketplace, which would issue um, a security to represent the ownership in a property. Um, they tokenize uh, with the help of Bitbond technology. So the tokens are being created, but then the wallet is being legally operated by Bankhaus von der Heid and technologically fully integrated into the ClickOn account. And von der Heid acts as a paying agent because they are the issuer of the digital euro or the stablecoin, as we call it in this context. And on the one hand, this might seem like a complex setup. And of course, there's three parties involved because on the one hand, there is ClickOn, then there is von der Heid, and then there is Bitbond as a technology provider behind it. But the great advantages, if you look at it from the perspective of a customer, of an investor on the ClickOn platform, they don't see all of these processes in the background. All they see is there's an IBAN, I can send money there, then I have a digital euro, I can invest that into a property, everything happens instantaneously, if I, get div uh, if I get coupon payments, I can reinvest them or I can withdraw them to my bank account. That's all I see. And everything happens in an extremely smooth and convenient way. And here we have kind of like a white label um, uh, version of this. So you can see that you have an investor onboarding. Um, you can have an investor screen. In between you have KYC and a, a few other steps that we uh, had to leave out on this on this chart and then on the right hand side you have the list of assets and this euro x is for example the euro token and you can send and receive it through this wallet so this is a great use case and there's plenty of more use cases out there where a digital euro can be utilized um, but from the context and from the perspective of a commercial bank, we think that asset settlement of securities and other financial assets is the most exciting one. I really hope you enjoyed this lecture. Feel free to get in touch um, directly or in the comments. And we're looking forward to hear your opinion on issuing digital euros from the perspective of a commercial bank. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you soon.